Hi everybody! So today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute um, printable on PicMonkey.com. So PicMonkey.com is one of my most favorite free websites today. Um, they have a lot of cool tools that you can do. You can edit photos, you can touch up photos, do collages, and do some designs. We're going to work today with the design tool. So if you saw my post um, maybe a month or so or two months ago about my sister's bridal shower, the Something Blue bridal shower, I did a chalkboard printable from that shower, and that is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So we're going to first go to the design tool here and it gives you these custom options so you can make a really cool Facebook cover photo if you wanted to and then you can pick a custom size so I have a frame that's 5 by 7 which is what I am choosing today so we're going to click on the 5 by 7 and it's going to give us a blank canvas to work from so I have a background a chalkboard background that I am going to upload and I have included the link to that in my blog post. So we're going to click first on textures. And we're going to go ahead and create our own. So we'll just go ahead and upload the one from our desktop here. Oops. So it's just a blank chalkboard canvas. And it's going to go ahead and put that in our background. There we go. Next, we're going to go over to this text feature. So we'll click on the text. Oops, first we want to apply the background. Make sure we save that. The cool thing about PicMonkey is they have a lot of free textures, a lot of free text. Um, but some of them are not free, and you have to um, you have to upgrade for those, which obviously everybody's got to make a little money. So... Um, I have nothing against that. I think that they offer a lot of good ones for free. So first I'm going to use, let's see, which font do I want to use first? So this Marcel script kind of has an old school look to it. Um, it's very chalkboardy, so we'll do that. And then add the text. You should get a little text box here. And I'm going to make our text color white. So as you can see here, it comes up with a little text editor. So you can um, adjust the size, boldness, italics, how you want it to, um, where you want it to be positioned, what color you want to use. So we'll go ahead and do white. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same words I did for my sisters. So we'll do old, new, borrowed. You guys get to see how horrible of a speller I am. Borrowed in blue. We'll make this a generic one. So we'll say she is ready to say I do. Cool. So we're just going to move this down a little bit. Position it where we want it. And I'm going to go ahead and make this in the middle, center, format in the center, and then play around with the sizing. So I think I'll go ahead and do 170, see how big that gives us. Maybe a tad bigger, let's do 180. So you can just type that right in there to get it. That looks good. Okay. One thing I've noticed with making these um, chalkboard signs or just printables in general is that you want to vary the text just to give it make it look more interesting to the eye. You don't want to just use all one text. You want to vary it with different texts and sizes and break it up with maybe even a graphic. So we're going to go ahead and add another text. We're going to do... Let's see here. It's called. I don't know if these are in any kind of order. Don't appear to be. Okay, so the next one we want is this guy. 
double click on that or add text actually and we'll go to this one white as well this will be our welcome and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger than the text above just to make it more visually interesting this might be a little too big but we'll see once we see if we can get it to fit So what I love about this program is that it really gives you a lot of different options for editing, playing around, it's so much fun. Okay, so we'll make this more in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this next script one, Great Vibes is what it's called. So after you select it each time, you will need to click the add text, something that I do forget frequently. And then we'll do two. I'm going to make this white as well. Obviously, this is a chalkboard. So you write white on chalkboards, usually. And then we'll move this right under here. And then this is where I'm going to do it uh, a little bit generic as well. We're going to add in a banner. So in this overlay section, there are several options to add in an overlay. So you can do any kind of geometric shapes, hearts, doilies. Um, we're going to scroll down and pick from these banners. So we'll do an engraved banner. This will give it kind of a rustic-y look. And this is the one I usually like to use, so we'll do this one. It pops up here. This is where we're going to add a little bit of our color. So this was for blue wedding showers, so we will do... Um, and I think we want, we want to keep the black. We're going to do the white is what we're going to do. Blue. Whoops. We'll click that and then pick one of these bright blues do this deeper blue okay and then we'll go ahead and make that a little bigger so this is where you could write in if you wanted to you could type in the person's name so I'll show you how to do that actually um, for my sister so we'll go back to the text we're going to use this same great vibes text. We'll add a little box here. And this one, oops. What you can do to get it to fit in here is spin it around, however. So we'll do it kind of at the similar angle of the banner. And then we'll go ahead and write. Natalie in here. That's my sister's name. And well, actually, we did Natalie's shower. And then we'll adjust the color back to white as well. Or you could do black in here, I guess, if you wanted to do black in the banner. Or any color. Don't need to make it your own. You don't need to follow what I say. Um, go ahead and make it a little bigger just so it all fits. It's not looking totally centered. The other thing here too is that some of these layers get lost. Yep, see it went away for a second. Um, and you can adjust it so one is in front of the other with this. So you get, or actually, this merges them all together. Um, there is ways to make it so that they aren't merged together. So we want this to be up a little more though because we're also going to add a date at the bottom. So we just want to make sure we have portions right. Move this text up first. And then move the banner underneath that. There! 
that actually looks really good right now. Um, so the next piece would be adding in the date. And I'm going to use this same text that we had here. So this Eucadex, Eucadex, I don't know how to say it exactly. And we're going to add that down at the bottom. And again, all of this is going to be adjusted at the end just to make sure it looks good. Um, I'm going to make up a date. And we'll go ahead and move this to the center. There, not too bad. Okay, so we're just going to make some final adjustments here. Let's see, we'll move this up a little bit. This up a little bit. Just to kind of give it the final, final touches. Let's see, we'll move the text first. Um, one thing you can also do with this banner that I didn't show you is if you don't want it to look so stark, I guess, is a word for it, you can make it fade. So when I click on it, it brings up its little um, editor. And right here we can fade it. So we can do, we can just have it kind of fade into the background. So I might have it fade just a little bit. Okay. So now you can save your work and you can save it directly to your computer, give it a name, and it'll save as a JPEG. Um, or you can pick PNG, whichever, whichever way you'd like to have it saved. So that is how to do a chalkboard printable on pickmonkey.com. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave comments below. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's any tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Hope you all are having a great week.